How we doing everyone? We're going to continue here going through all the different infield surfaces that we can do. This particular video I'm going to show you how to topo with the dozer. I guess better get my windows unfogged here so I can see what I'm doing. Uh, but yeah, we'll, uh, I'll show you how to uh, do a topo as well as uh, create a surface from that topo in the dozer. Or you can export that stuff as well too, you know, to the field. I've done this recently we just did this we're in an instance where we couldn't get the drone up in the air safely we did it with the dozer just to just get a rough idea where we're at so can't come in handy so the first thing we're going to do come into tools we're going to do topo survey so you got to create a, a layer so you know whatever that layer wants to be and i'd always recommend creating it and putting it on a layer that makes sense so you'll know what the heck it is um so let's just say you're gonna do field. Oops, if I can spell. So log at blade middle. So you can do left edge, middle. Let's just show you what left and right edge. So that can be a good way, but if you got a lot of you know undulations and stuff, that may be difficult. I like to do the middle. Just try to keep the middle of your blade touching the surface the best you can. Auto topo, I always do minimal horizontal distance. And I like to do 10 feet. Um, and then lower elevations by, if you want to run the blade around in the air, you can drop it down. I always just leave it at zero, and like I said, and try to keep the blade on the ground. And then I like to have the topo button be pause or zoom auto topo. So once I do that, I'm gonna turn this, uh, oops. No, oh, sorry. There we go. Excuse my ignorance there. Um, so I'm gonna turn it shortcuts on here. Uh, take a tempo shot. Okay, I believe. Okay, so it took my initial shot there. You see the dot in the center of my blade. So I'm gonna start traveling and it should start taking shots. Okay, see how I took another shot there every 10 feet. So I have my blade up in the air just because I'm on concrete. If I was traveling around, you don't need to really watch the screen. You just, you can for uh, mapping purposes, but we'll see here. I'll just do a loop around the yard here. Crack some more game up here, it might be a little loud. See so yeah, how it's just taking shots. Every 10 feet. See how it paused my auto topo. So you can see there, there's my my dots, my shots that I took. Holy buckets, I gotta turn this heat off. Hold on, I really sick. All right, there we go. So now that I got my shots in there, I don't know why it didn't take one there. Um, maybe it did, or it's not zoomed. Yep, it did. It's just the way the map zoomed. So now what I can do is I can go into my surfaces, go new, and I've got triangulated surface from topo survey call it bad or whatever it is. Like I said, most important thing on that is call it something you know what the heck it is. So I want to use the points from field. So look, I got the 22 points I took. 
I hit finish, set as active surface, and now let's go ahead and turn on our triangulation. Let's see, I've got a triangulated surface that created there off my points. Not the most beautiful thing you've ever seen, but can give you an existing grade surface. Um, so pretty dang simple. Now if you wanted to get those points to the guys in the office for some reason, if we go over here to points. Uh, oops. Why am I not remembering how to do this? I just walked someone through this the other day, but my mind's not uh, helping me here. So I know you could just export the TP3, it would have the point. Uh, that is what we had to do. I remember there wasn't a way to just export. I'll have to check on the 2.0 machines. Uh, but I remember we just had to, all the points will pull out, we had to just copy the TP3 and send the TP3 in to get the points. I do remember making some notes about that. Um, I'll double check on a 2.0 machine, this is a 1.0 machine, but uh, yeah, there wasn't a good way to export those points out. If there is one, feel free to drop it in the comments. Um, but yeah, off the top of my head, I think I just had them spit the TP3 out and we got what we needed that way. But you can see easy process and then all of our points are in this layer here. Um, really simple. So if I hit my topo button again, I would start a new topo or you could come back in here and topo survey. We want to put to auto topo to not active. So say the topo survey, now that would just go back to being just a regular topo shot. So pretty straightforward. Um, so now if I go into my surfaces, you can see I've got pad. So you can see it's triangulated pad or triangulated surface and then my planes and then my alignment, which is my slope. If I go into our active alignment. I've actually, it actually creates an alignment now. And the reason you see that you may have not seen in the other videos is now we have raise and lower existing surface and subgrade of existing alignment. You can use those. I typically don't. Really all this is going to do is, so let's just call it subgrade or something. If I go in here and I select my pad, I can basically create a subgrade instead of using offset. The only part is you need to label it really well to make sure someone doesn't double up and put an offset on a subgrade pad, on a subgrade file. So that's why I typically don't do this. We just use offsets, but you know, if they need to go minus a foot or whatever, it creates a subgrade of that. Or you can do an, of an alignment as well. It's gonna do the same thing. It's just gonna shove that alignment down whatever, whatever offset you want it to be. So those aren't created though. Those weren't in there before because we didn't have a surface and we didn't have an alignment, but now we have those things. So we just created all these different surfaces in field. They're all, um, available now and can be edited and used so hope these couple videos help show how to utilize that a little bit better and i'll uh i'll have some more stuff coming on the 2.0 machines on some of the new features on there but had some questions on this stuff recently wanted to get some information out there hope that helps you guys thanks